So, does an electric field occur as electrons move inside the conductor? Conversely, does an electric field have to be created for electrons to move? Within a conductor, both scenarios can occur. Electromagnetic fields can arise as electrons move, and conversely, the presence of an electric field can drive the motion of electrons. Asterisk asterisk electromagnetic fields generated by electron movement. Asterisk asterisk. When electrons move within a conductor, they create an electromagnetic field. This occurs when a current flows through a conductor. The movement of electrons in a particular direction generates an electric current, and this current, in turn, produces an associated electromagnetic field. Asterisk asterisk electron motion driven by the presence of an electric field. Asterisk asterisk. In the presence of an electric field, electrons experience a force in the direction of the field and thus move. The electric field exerts a force on the electrons, causing them to move. For example, applying a voltage across a conductor sets up an electric field that drives the motion of electrons, resulting in current flow. So, electromagnetic fields can indeed arise due to electron movement within a conductor, and conversely, the presence of an electric field can lead to the motion of electrons within the conductor. These two processes are interconnected and fundamental to the behavior of conductors in electrical circuits. The electromagnetic fields can be generated within a conductor as electrons move, and conversely, the presence of an electric field can drive the motion of electrons. When electrons move within a conductor, they create an electric field within the conductor. This occurs when electrons are in motion due to the presence of a voltage or electric potential. As the electrons move in a particular direction, they push aside nearby charges, leading to the generation of an electric field within the conductor. For instance, when a voltage is applied to a conductor, electrons move in the direction of the voltage. As electrons move, they push aside neighboring charges, resulting in the establishment of an electric field within the conductor. Conversely, when an electric field is present, electrons within the conductor experience a force in the direction of the field, compelling them to move. The electric field exerts a force on the electrons, leading to their motion. For example, when a magnetic field is applied to a conductor, electrons within the conductor experience a force due to the field. This force causes the electrons to move in the direction of the magnetic field, resulting in their motion. Therefore, electromagnetic fields can be generated within a conductor as electrons move, and the presence of an electric field can drive the motion of electrons. The specific outcome depends on the particular circumstances and the application of electric or magnetic fields. In the context of specific devices, such as electric generators, the movement of conductors within a magnetic field generates induced currents and, in turn, electric fields. On the other hand, in the case of electric motors, the presence of an electric field within the conductor drives electron movement, causing the conductor to rotate. 